Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making crab cakes. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. Two for two. We got broiled crab cakes and fried crab cakes. Um, So simple, so easy. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. Do you like broiled or fried? But y'all know I don't like introductions, so we're going to hop right into this video. So first we want to start off with our vegetables. I'm going to take about one fourth of a red pepper and just dice it up really tiny. And then I'm going to take about one to two spring onions or green onions and dice them up very, very small and then we just want to saute our vegetables in our um saute pan on a low heat for about four to five minutes and we're going to set that aside until we are ready to use them So after about four minutes of our vegetable sauteing, we're going to set them aside again, let them cool, and we're going to get started on our crab cakes. So I'm going to use the Duke's mayonnaise, guys. I heard y'all in the comments saying use Duke. One fourth cup of Duke's and one eggs, and then we're going to mix that together. And then we're just going to add the rest of our ingredients. So first, I'm just going to add in a teaspoon of baking powder, and then just take a lemon, um, squeeze some lemon juice in there. You can use fresh lemon or the one that comes in a little bottle and then i'm going to add in about one tablespoon of honey dijon mustard and then i'm going to add in um some parsley about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of parsley and then of course i'm from maryland so we got to add in a tablespoon of obey some black pepper and a splash of salt mix that around and then we're going to add in the rest of the ingredients so I'm going to add in a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs and then some freshly, um, just take some time, some fresh thyme, and then just take it off the stem. I took about three stems and I took all the thyme leaves off the stem. And then we're going to throw in a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, mix that around, and then we're going to get ready for this good old crab meat. I am using Phillips crab meat. You can use whatever type of crab meat you want. I'm using Phillips crab meat. And instead of using my whisk, I'm going to use a spatula and gently fold in the crab meat with my um with the, the batter the sauce whatever you want to call it and once it's nicely incorporated everything's mixed i'm actually going to separate this crab meat into two different um bowls because when i fry my crab crates i like to use the vegetables when i broil them i don't also, once everything is mixed, guys, we want to place this in the refrigerator. I put mine in the refrigerator no more than uh, 30 minutes to an hour just so everything can gel, everything can set, and so your crab cakes won't fall apart. But now that I separated my crab meat, I'm going to now put in my vegetables, put as much as you want into it, and then you can just take your spatula and gently fold in the vegetables with your crab meat. And then again, place that in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them. Okay, so first we want to start off with our broiled crab, crab cakes, the easiest to do. You just want to take um, a good chunk of crab meat and just place them and shape them into like a ball. I like to do like a big ball. That's what I see the restaurants do, like Phillips and um, what's that, Capital Grill, all the fancy restaurants. They make their crab cakes look like a big ball. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and you just want to place that on some tin foil on your pan. Um, I also place a little bit of butter on the pan, on the tin foil so it don't stick. Um, but once you get your desired shape, you want to set your oven on 450 degrees, guys, 450 degrees, and let that cook for about 12 to 15 minutes or however brown you want your crab cakes to look. Um, but let's get a close up on these crab cakes, guys. You see how I did like the ball shape? Yep, we're going to place this in the oven. We're going to set it and forget it. We're not going to touch it until we are ready to take them out. So now we're moving on to our fried crab cakes. This shape is going to be different. I'm going to shape these crab, cake, crab cakes like a patty. Um, and I'm going to do a big, big patty because I'm only making two and I got a lot of crab meat. So once you get your um, crab cakes shaped like a patty, you can place them in the refrigerator so they can set even some more. And then we're going to get ready to fry them. Now there are there is another way you can do this. You can actually roll your crab cakes into some panko breadcrumbs to like form a outer crust later. But I don't like my fried crab cakes like that. I like mine just to be just a crab meat and like a little crust. If you want like a, a nice crust crust on top, then roll your crab cakes into some panko breadcrumbs. 
But now we got our desired shape. We're going to place this in the refrigerator until our oil is ready. Guys, I'm using vegetable oil. You can use whatever type of oil you want. These are your crab cakes. But I'm going to use vegetable oils. And I have my stove on a level five. So once your oil is the, a good temperature, I'm going to gently place my crab cakes in my pan and let it cook. Guys, for I mean, the time, I didn't time it because I'm weird. I like mine like a little crust on the outside and then soft on the inside. But once you're ready to flip them, because we're only going to flip them once. So you got to just be checking it to see how brown you want it. You want to flip them and then that's it. If uh, Guys, you can flip them again if you want to. Like if you flipped them and you saw that it wasn't as brown as you wanted, you can flip them again. But be careful because the crab cakes, they're, they're delicate. So they're, they can fall apart. And yes, I am tasting it because it is in the cookbook Bible that if you are cooking the food, if anything falls apart or if you want to taste some food, you can taste some food. So I surely did pick some crust off to taste it. But we're going to hop right into presentation time because we all know presentation is key. So I'm just using some remoulade sauce and my ketchup dispenser. And I'm going to place a little bit down on my plate that I got from Walmart. Walmart, if y'all watching my videos, y'all might as well go ahead and sponsor your girl. Because I be shouting y'all out in all of my videos with y'all plates. Um, But I'm just going to place my, uh, it's just spring mix. I'm placing down on that little um remoulade sauce that I put down so the salad won't move. And then we're going to get ready for these crab cakes, y'all. I lied. We're going to put down some more women sauce. Then we're going to get ready for these crab cakes. We're going to start off with the broil first. And baby, with the broil, baby, with the broil, we might have us a good old challenge here. The broil is off the hook. Um, We want to place down our two broil on one side and then our fried, baby, our fried crab cakes on the other side. Y'all, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Which one do y'all like? Because they both, to me, look delicious. But we're going to garnish this with some lemon, sprinkle some parsley on top. And I forgot to tell y'all to take some melted butter with some Obey. Put that on top of your crab cakes on both your broiled and your fried. And that's it. That's it, guys. Now, let me know in the comments which one do y'all like. Um, For me, I got to think about it. It depends on the day. But let me know if you like broiled or you like fried. You like fried or you like broiled. Now, I'm not going to lie, y'all. For presentation purposes, I do like my broiled crab cakes. But that is only because... I'm over there eating the fried crab cake, so they never make it to the plate. Um, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys wash your hands. And I will see you guys at my next video.